Warning, this footage contains flash photography. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Traditional musical instrument, the Ukrainian bandura. Continue watching to find out more. No to vegan, because you don't want to be benevolent. Art loving viewers, we tell you. It means greetings in Ukrainian. I'm Yulia. The broad minded people of Ukraine wish you are blessed with health, happiness, and spiritual enlightenment. Welcome to our show Traditional Musical Instrument, the Ukrainian Bandura. There are countless different types of musical instruments in the world. Their melodic sounds bring comfort, beauty, and upliftment to our lives. How did musical instruments come about and what inspired their ingenious inventors? Supreme Master Ching He once revealed the following knowledge to us. In ancient times, the spiritual practitioners who are connected to heaven at times try to replicate the mesmerizing, wonderful music of the celestial abode by creating instruments. So many of the instruments we have, like the harp, the piano, the violin, the flute, the Scottish bagpipes, etc., they all correlate with the sounds of real heavenly realms. Except the real ones are much more incredibly uplifting. The bandura is a traditional musical instrument that is part of the rich history of Ukraine and Eastern Europe. Untwining characteristics of the harp and lute resonating with centuries of lore, the wondrous instrument creates a unique sound with a wide range and compelling timbre. The bandura is more than a national instrument of Ukraine. It's often called the voice of Ukraine. This exceptional instrument originates from the spiritual culture of the ancient Sumeria Akkadian civilization. As far as humans can record, the instrument predating the bandura was first played by Akkadians from around 3000 BC. It is believed that the instrument inherited its name from the Greek myth of the first human, Pandora who was created by Hephaestus at the behest of the god Zeus. The Bandura was believed to be a companion of humanity, producing heavenly reverberations to comfort our souls in this material world. The Akkadian played early versions of the Bandura in their religious events as well as in festivities and for entertainment. Later, the charming instrument was introduced into Eastern European countries, 
San Francisco's from the 11th century in the St. Sophia Cathedral in Kyiv, Ukraine, depict court musicians playing bandura-like instruments. By the 17th and 18th centuries, the Ukrainian bandura was popular throughout the expansive nation, from tiny cottages to the most majestic manors. With the bandura gradually spreading across Eastern Europe, each culture it touched enhanced the instrument with its own evolutions, updating its shape and sound range. A traditional bandura typically comprises of a wooden bag, soundboard, rest planks, a bridge, strings, and tuning pegs. The bag is usually crafted from a single, solid piece of wood, such as willow, poplar maple, or cherry but some modern variants use other materials. The soundboard is usually made from spruce. Hardwoods like birch are used for rest planks and the bridge. For the strings, steel is used for the higher tones and brass. Bronze or copper strings are used for lower tones. Modern banduras use metal pins rather than traditional wooden tuning packs for even greater tonal stability. From the early 5-string bandura to the more than 68-string carcue-style instrument, the instrument has greatly diversified in sound range and timbre. The shape and tuning of modern banduras have coalesced to a basic tuning in G major or E minor. Like a harp, each bandura string produces a single principal note. Now, let's listen to a soulful bandura performance, Carol of the Bells by Yaroslav Zos, a Ukrainian musician and award-winning bandurist whose passion in promoting his national instrument is matched only by his mesmerizing playing. If there is no one eating meat, then there would be no one killing the animals. If there is no demand, there would be no supply. Therefore, 
Both the killer and the eater have to share this bloody debt due to the animals being killed. Buddha of Day and Vegan Charitable viewers, we will take a momentary interlude to thank all the talented instrument makers that enrich our lives with their melodic crafts that help remind us of celestial music. More Bandura Brilliance is on the way. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our program about the beautiful Bandura, National Instrument of Ukraine. There are four main styles of Bandura – folk, kiu, karkiu, and orchestral. Each of these has their own unique production method, number of strings, and performance requirement. Folk Banduras usually have between 12 to 23 strings, are crafted by hand, and are almost exclusively used by traditional epic singers in the Ukraine, called Kobzers. Historically, the professional Kobzer tradition was established in the 16th century and were organized in regional guilds or brotherhoods. One had to go through a musically strict and demanding apprenticeship before becoming a Kobzer. After a temporary lull, this precious art form has experienced a revival in the Ukraine and is included in the world-renowned and nationally saluted Nat Kutkiewicz International Folk Instruments Competition. Basically, this, this particular instrument has 21 strings, wooden pegs, the back is dug out of a solid piece of timber, and um, it sounds somewhat different from the instruments which you have these days. The Q or academic bandura is the most common in Ukraine, with around 50 treble strings and 12 to 17 bass strings. Its wider sound range provides a rich and beautiful sound and is often used in concerts. It can be played with other instruments and is often paired with the accordion. This incredible combination produces mesmerizing musical melodies. Here is another example of the Q Bandura played by the musical group BNB Project. The music invites the listener to a transcendental and meditative state. The Kharkiv style Bandura was originally made outside of Ukraine, but recently has gained popularity locally. It's usually constructed with 34 to 65 strings, along with a mechanism for changing keys. To play this style of instrument, the musician needs to hold it parallel to the body and use the left hand primarily to play the melody. This is in contrast to the Q style, for which the left hand primarily plays the bass strings. Both styles can be found worldwide. A wonderful example that uses the Q style Bandura is the Nat Katkiewicz Ukrainian Bandurist Ensemble, founded by Bandurist Gregory Bazul in 1964 in Sydney, Australia.
The orchestral bandura was developed specifically to extend the range used in orchestras. Such piccolo and bass-sized banduras can be tuned an octave higher and lower than the standard karku bandura. These orchestral counterparts are usually commissioned to order and are not typically commercially available. The expression of divine creativity is infinite, especially in music. This is true of the beautiful bindura, where several distinctly recognizable styles are used in performances. The longest traditions are of accompanying folk songs, chants, psalms, and epics. In the old times, most singing players were wandering minstrels, masters of their art. They changed ballad and other works into bandura folk songs. Many Ukrainian people consider these singing bandurists to be God's messengers or vessels of God's word. Like their musical predecessors, modern-day folk bandurists assimilate melodies from a wide range of inspirations. For example, the Ukrainian bandurist chorus utilizes traditional performances with an orchestra and all-male choral groups to create a unique performance experience. was wonderful. Let's now enjoy a delightful solo by a famous bandurist, Victor Michello, as he performs for the National Library of Australia collection. I'll play a, a Kolomika, which is from uh, one of his dances from, from Western Ukraine. Making war to impress a woman? Huh, that's a ticket to failure.
Graceful viewers, it was a pleasure for us to share time with you and to present traditional musical instrument, the Ukrainian bandura. We hope you've come to appreciate the wonderful bandura as much as we have. Up next is Successful Refugees and Immigrants Leading the Way, Part 21 of a multi-part series, Tang Le Le Ti Tai Tang, Technology Innovator and Entrepreneur. May we all remain connected with the noble inner heavenly music that brings peace, enlightenment, and illumination. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash CTAW. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique CTAW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada CTAW. Nuestro programa predlaga este monogay así que, por favor, pasmatrice suprememastertv.com casa chirta schedule y suprememastertv.com casa chirta CTAW.